Hey, Just Bricks here with another Pablo for you. Um, going to start off with this order here, and it's got a mix of these minifigure parts. Now I got some parts from Organizer OE. I'm not doing this exactly in order because, well, really the parts are kind of all over the place on where they actually are, and OE is going to be the easiest. OE7, so let's see, tousled hair. Okay, there's the tousled hair. These are parts from the Lego Ludo game. And I believe it's this hair. I used that once when I was making a Katniss Everdeen minifigure. That disappeared, and I'm very sad about that. That's one of my hidden side pieces. Okay, and the last new piece is one bone. There we go. So that's all the new parts. Chick, chick. Go ahead and grab the used part from drawer 113. Yeah, except it's not in there. Oh, you know why it's not in there? Because I used a used part for one of my mocks, and it's right there. I actually used this piece in a, in a little announcement thing that we did for when we found out we were having a kid. So, it's a very special piece. Honestly, I thought I had taken it out of the store, but guess not. And one green 8x16 plate. That is wet. That's impressive. I washed these pieces off before I added them to my inventory, and that's been over a week ago. Probably closer to two weeks, and there's still liquid in there. I should probably leave this box open so it can dry out. That's crazy. Maybe I should have let that dry a little bit more. Anyway, so two minutes for the first order. Okay, so the next order is very s simple. Um, actually, it's the same bin, because I'm crazy and have weird things together in this bin. While I was getting the Green Lantern figure out, I was looking at this figure, and I was realizing precisely how bad of condition it's in. The torso is not too terrible, I don't think. It's got some nicks on it, you can see on there. But the legs are just terrible. I'm pretty sure I listed this figure as heavily worn but yeah I know I've got this one listed with the nicks on there because there's six nicks on the front and I think three on the back I don't know I can't tell but six nicks on the front of the torso one on the back of the leg so there's the one on the back of the legs yep so that one was listed as the wear on there. I keep trying to show people's addresses. All right, and the next order. Let's see, drawer 302. It's actually drawer 303. I know that. Because I've seen that drawer quite a few times here recently. Oh, look, bin one again. I haven't had anything out of bin one in forever, and now all of a sudden I have three orders in one day. That's crazy. So there's that. Oh, my last Stingray. I guess I'll get, put that order in that Lego bag. B. Magma cube head, that would be here. There's one. And there's two. Yeah, all my modified heads go in that compartment for the time being. 
four yellow hands. Well, I got the right number of yellows. Bonus purple. Just kidding. Okay, and organizer C is next. What I've started doing is putting the organizers down there in reverse order. So when I'm done, I can just put them back up on the shelf in order. There we go, got it that time. Organizer seven, this figure from the Lego movie. He's listed as used, but I never actually used that figure. I built it and then put it back. I built the figure, listed it as new, and then that was before I closed my store down the first time when I went back to college. And then when I reopened the store, it, uh, yeah. When I reopened the store, he had been stored mixed with a bunch of other stuff. So I was like, I can't really list this as new anymore. And I believe I have, yep, this is the order that made me decide I was going to do a pick-a-brick. A pick-a-brick. A Pablo. Because they got all my dark turquoise stuff. Well, not all of it, but a good number of parts. But yeah, with that figure, I had um, not stored him well when I closed down my store. Everything kind of got packed up by my cousin. I was at college. He was going to remodel the place that my store was in before. And he packed everything away for me. And didn't pack it away like I would have. So. And where's the last one? Ah, there it is. Dark turquoise. Dark turquoise. A great color. And drawer 63, I believe. Yep, 63 is next. Let go. I need five two by threes. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, next is drawer 77. Uh, they didn't get all of those. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and count those. Got 10 of those. Let's see, 137. That's over here. And all seven of those. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so now that I've shown like my entire store, I feel better with doing the Pablos because I don't feel like I have to try and hide stuff. <laughs> there are a few things where it's just like, oh, it's a little messy. 281. A dark turquoise hat. Yep. And since everything's kind of been out there, it's not like I have, I, I don't feel nervous about it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the dark turquoise pieces and then come back to the minifigure parts. So I need organizer I. Something like this, I'm not going to take all of these organizers down in reverse order. I'm just going to take OH and up and down and set it off to the side here. And then get organizer I out. And they bought all 37 of my picker brick pieces there. So $4.81. And I just dropped them all over the place. Okay, so I got all those pieces out of there. And you see these trans clear and trans dark blue studs there. The other day I had an order for 
over 800 parts, which was my largest order by part count, excluding sets. I tried to record a video of it. I didn't have this phone with me, so I tried to use my new phone and the sound messed up on it, but I might sh insert a little clip from that video. These are the leftover studs, because I kind of, I, I just estimated on how many were there. I was like, well, I know how many it took to fill up one compartment, and they have a full compartment and a partial compartment, and so I estimated at like 400, I think it was. And so I came pretty close on the dark, uh, the trans dark blue, and this is with giving them probably about 10, 10 extra in both lots. So, um, yeah. I, uh, cut it a little close with the dark, trans dark blue with just guess, guessing. So now I need to actually count up what's left and get those listed. But for now, let me go ahead and mark that off and get... Okay, so SO01, that is... Stack on zero one, which is actually this thing here. I kind of showed it in my thing the other day. It doesn't really flow with my store very well. It's not my favorite s storage solution that I have, but it does work pretty well for holding a large number of bricks. Since these, since these lots are, since the 2x4 bricks just take up so much space, it's good for the amount that I've had so far. I'm thinking that if I were to get a bunch, you can't really see it back there right now, but a bunch of those big classic sets, I don't think that would work too well. Because I'd run out of space in there, but for the time being it works pretty good. Okay, and then I need... Organizer E, right here, E1, the little, what do they call these, midi legs, medium legs, so the medium legs there, and then Organizer B, Organizer B, section five, right? Section five, medium Achima torso. I normally list the torso only really low. I don't know about really low, but lower than average sold price, just because it seems like most people are not gonna be looking for just the torso with no arms. So I tend to list those lower. All right, so I've picked all the orders. Now I'm gonna have to go through and pack them and make sure that I pack them properly. So while I was editing the video, I realized that I didn't film an outro for it, but uh, I got the orders all packed up and out in the mail and everything went well. So um, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, y'all have a good one.